and we're back with the daily rotation and today we are going to be playing as Brightwing. Uh, she has ranged support. To be honest, I don't know a whole lot about Brightwing's background or lore. I just know that she is an excellent healer and she is excellent at a lot of uh, map utility. So she can push lanes, she can grab mercenary camps, uh, she can actually even 1v1 a lot of melee assa assassins. So. You know, she is definitely a very strong character. I see her as being some, one of the top played um, in a lot of tournaments. I don't know if she is right now, but I feel that she is making her way to the top. So let's see how we can do on a match today. Playtime. Yeah, she's pretty creepy. And today we will find ourselves on the Haunted Mines. Let's see, the friendly team is Uther, Sonya, Raynor, Zeratul, and Brightwing. Uh, the enemy team, Thrall, Gazlo, Zagara, Raynor, and Illidan. So the enemy team doesn't really have a tank or support, which will make it tough for them, but having Gazlo and Zagara on the Haunted Mines is definitely a bonus. And for us, since Uther's here, we're not going to focus as heavily on healing, though that's really what Brightwing does best, so we're still going to pick a few talents that have to do with the healing. For our level 1 talent, we are going to pick Bribe. Uh, what this is going to do is... Every 20 stacks we get, which we get a stack for killing a minion, uh, every 20 stacks we get, we're going to be able to buy a mercenary, uh, essentially. So you'll be able to walk up to a mercenary camp, use the bribe ability, and that mercenary will go down. So you get two stacks, you can take two of the siege giants. Uh, you can only have two stacks, you can't take a whole camp of bruisers, but it does make it a lot easier uh, to get those camps. So let's see, we're going to head up here, hang out with... Rainer, help him push down this lane. Uh, Brightwing's abilities, her Q is a area of effect damage. Basically has an outer circle and an inner circle. The inner circle does the most damage. Her W ability, Polymorph. Uh, polymorph's an enemy for a few seconds. It's a good way to disrupt, uh, cancel abilities. And later in the game, if we take the talent, it'll also make them take additional damage. As you can see, Zagara and Rain are pushing pretty hard here. Not a surprise. Zagara excels at pushing, and Rainer is pretty good at just all-around damage. Now the bottom team down here, Uther and Sonya, working to defend against Gazlo, and it looks like Illidan. And I didn't think catch who the other person was. Let's polymorph Jim Rainer, stop him from his reign of terror. Allow our Jim, Jim Rainer to catch up a little bit. If you don't know this map, these mines up here, they do open up uh, throughout the map, and when they do, each team will enter and they'll try to kill off uh, some NPCs in order to gain skulls. The more skulls you get, uh, the more powerful of a golem you'll get during the golem phase. Uh, so and you'll see more of that. Zagara putting a little bit of pressure on me with her, uh, her little zergling there. So let's enter the mines. Actually, you know what? We're going to stay out for a second and try to keep these guys out of the mines. And the reason for this is because Brightwing can actually teleport. That She doesn't have a mount, uh, but she can teleport to a friendly hero. So uh, right now it looks like our friendly team probably could use us. So we're going to teleport right in on Uther and help him out here. Uh, I don't think I went over this, but our E ability, what it does is it gives a little bit of a movement speed buff and as well as blocks some basic attacks. Let's see if we can capture Jin Rainer here. We're going to polymorph him, and he is going to go down by the friendly team. Uh, normally, if I was the only support, I would pick up Protective Shield, but since we have Uther here, I'm going to grab Envenom, which is a really good ability to do some kill shots. Basically, is a pretty big damage over time. Looks like our friendly team is doing well cleaning up in the mines. I think we're about to take the golem here. Uh, he's essentially worth almost about half the amount of skulls that are available down here. Over on the left side is where the majority of them are, though. So when you enter the mines, you really want to focus on the left side, clear out the enemy team, and then take this golem. As you can see, here they come. Uh, we're going to polymorph Gazlo. Drop drop the AOE, uh, give ourselves some movement speed buff, and let's see if we can get in here and get an Envenom off on Gazlo. 
think that would really help. Oh, but we are stunned. I think Zeratul will finish him off. Let's see if we can just teleport to him. And unnecessary, but Zeratul does get the kill. So this is the second phase here. Now two golems will spawn. Let's see if we can grab some camps. Uh, it does give you a few seconds before the golems spawn. Uh, let's see. Normally I would pick up activate uh, Gust of Healing, which activates your passive heal. I don't think I've went over this yet, but you basically, for Brightwing, you don't have to do anything to heal other than just hang around heroes. That's pretty much it. A uh, shield heal. Every, uh, let's see, every five seconds she's going to do an area of effect heal. Anyone in the area will get healed, so she's a really strong support character. Uh, but this activate to rapidly heal uh, essentially will just let you have the ability to decide when that heal goes off, and it'll be a lot stronger when it does. I think we should be pushing. Uh, the friendly team doesn't seem to be really wanting to do that, though. So I guess we'll stay up here and just focus down there, Golem. All right, let's go see if we can help out Sonia. Uh, she does she does fall before I can do the teleport. Uh, let's pick up Mule. Uh, what this is going to do is allow me to heal structures like this uh, tower. Hopefully prevent it from going down to the golem. Uh, yes, it will. So now that structure is going to gain a little bit of health over time. So it's a really great way to make sure that that golem doesn't push through that fort. Uh, friendly team doesn't want to take the siege golems here, so I think I will follow them over. Uh, they are engaging hard on Illidan. Will we be able to secure the kill? Yes, we are. Zeratul and Rainer are just they're excellent DPS pursuers. Zeratul gets an ability to teleport, uh, which makes him effectively an excellent uh, hero at securing kills. And Raynor, uh, with his ranged attacks, can also pin people down uh, and has a pretty good ultimate for pinning people down as well. Which we'll be able to see in just a moment when we hit level 10, I'm sure. Uh, let's focus on Thrall, who just went down. A little bit behind here. Definitely don't want to engage that, that side. For our level 10 heroic ability, uh, Normally I really like blink heal. Like I said, we, we don't really need the heals. We need some more utility spells, we'll call them. The Brightwing doesn't really excel at damage, in my opinion. Uh, so we're gonna pick up Emerald Wind, uh, which is basically, it'll push back, it'll push back all the enemies in the area. So it's a really great way to get people off your team. We are going to push them back into their base. And let's see here. Let's drop a mule on this cannon tower. See if we can get that little bit more health. Uh, the enemy team, they are securing their watchtower. Zeratul wanting to take this camp. Uh, personally, I would not suggest taking this. I, I don't think it's going to be an issue just because of our lead. Uh, but if you wait to take this camp until the enemy golem is up, these siege giants will actually help kill the enemy golem. So effectively, don't do what I'm doing. <laughs> you know, you can. Obviously, there are other points in the map where they will be helpful. Uh, right now, we're just going to want it. We're, put, we're taking them to put pressure on their base while the mines are open. Uh, as well as another thing to note is once the mines have opened for the first time, uh, you can enter them early. So sometimes it's a good idea to go in, maybe set up uh, you know, an ambush against the enemy team. Uh, we're just gonna we're gonna battle a little bit here with Thrall. Uh, we are actually ludicrous kill, kill, kill. with the help of those siege golems. We are gonna take out Thrall. That probably shouldn't have happened. <laughs> Don't think Brightwing is really the the greatest for one on ones, especially against Thrall. But I, I have a feeling that the enemy team is probably not the most experienced all the way around, just by the some of the decisions that they're making. Uh, we are going to secure the kill on Zagara. I do think that we should get out of here. This is a perfect time for the ultimate. We're going to push everybody away from us, uh, which is going to actually help our team secure the kills and keep us alive. So for our level 13 talent, we are going to pick up Sticky Flare. 
Uh, what this does is it's going to make our Q slow targets, uh, effectively making it a little bit easier uh, securing some kills. Let's see if we can take these. And you know what? I don't even need to recall. I can teleport to Jim Rayner, and I am going to help him get these. So as you see, I just used my bribe stacks, and it just took out those two mercenaries right away. That way we don't have to worry about the enemy team getting here, stealing the camp from us. Now let's see. All push. But uh, if your golem's significantly stronger than the enemy's golem, just do an all-out push uh, because you'll be able to push harder. Especially in the later game, those golems get very strong. This map uh, kind of has a reputation of snowballing. <laughs> Uh, you know, once you once you really get on a roll, once you get the golem cl close to the core, it's very difficult to make a comeback. So, uh, right now we should really all be pushing. Don't think that the friendly team really cares. Uh, probably not a problem. We're gonna give our sp <laughs> speed buff to Sonia. Uh, let's see if we can polymorph somebody here. Gonna toss out in Venom on Rainer, and I think that's gonna take him out. Illidan coming in, trying to defend his home. He is going to be pushed back, though. Uh, as you can see, this golem is pushing hard. And the third golem of the game pushes even harder. Uh, so once this golem gets to the core, he's going to start right at the core, and he'll be even stronger than he is this time, assuming we can secure as many skulls as we did. Effectively, this could be a quick game. I, th I think this is game. Not sure if maybe I'll have to do another video for Brightwing because we're not getting very far here. Uh, we did make it to level 16, uh, which is when we will be able to pick up Critter Size. Which when we, let's see if we can, when we polymorph an enemy, we are going to be able to do additional damage to them. We need to get out of here though. Uh, waited a little bit too long. Fr the friendly team does take down Thrall. And look at that golem work. Why Rainer isn't helping us is, you know, a question for another day. This looks like this could be a good game, though. Uh, as I said, the Haunted Mines has a reputation of snowballing, and this is why. Uh, when you get a strong golem and when you actually push with it, if our full team would have pushed, this game would have been over uh, without question. Uh, but unfortunately, some of the team members decided to play it safe, grab some camps. Not a big deal. Not a big deal. Don't want the video to end too soon. Hopefully we'll make it to level 20 to go over the full build. But essentially this, this covers uh, this covers Brightwing fairly well. Let's jump down here, help out the friendly Uther. Oh yeah, now he's feeling a little bit more encouraged. We are going to secure the kill on Zagara. Uh, if you notice, that polymorph did a lot of damage. Uh, I did a lot more damage with my auto attacks while they were polymorphed. Uh, looks like Gazlo wants to play. I'm down. I'm down if you're down, Gazlo, but he, he seems to have bailed out. Deciding he, he doesn't want to be matched up against an Uther and a Brightwing. And to be honest, I wouldn't want to be matched up against a Brightwing that soloed a Thrall. Even if it was with the help of Siege Giants. I think there's Siege Giants. That is game. Uh, let's see. Zeratul pretty much went and took the core by himself. As you can see, without casting a single healing spell, I had top healing in the match. Uh, you know, longer matches, it just only increases. Uh, might do another video of Brightwing to kind of go over more of a healing build. That builds a lot more focused on utility abilities. You know, we took the mule to keep the structures up. We took the bribe to steal mercenary camps, even though there's not very many on that map. So. Uh, but that's kind of the alternate build I like to use for Brightwing if I'm not going for full healing. Hopefully you guys enjoyed, and I look forward to talking to you next time.